Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri. Oh, and I have a dancing cow in the background. That is fantastic. But I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my garden, monitoring Aki and getting ready to go on our big expedition. I am so excited. It has been so long since we have been gone on a plant expedition. So that is what we are going to be doing today, my friends. As we mentioned before, we are going to be hopping on sunflower and we are going to be taking off into the skies. Who knows where we're going to go? I certainly don't know. We're going to even see if she's feeling like flying today. If sunflower doesn't feel like flying, we might be running with sunflower. Who knows? But we are basically going out so we can hopefully gather up lots and lots of plants. So many plants. You guys are going to be sick of plants by the time we're done. Yes, I love plants. Ah. But we're gathering up tons of plants, specifically looking for water plants and to see how many we can gather and if they're going to be enough to fill up the river exhibit that we are currently working on. We also need to keep our eyes out for blue plants or plants that will give us light blue dye because we need more light blue dye to put up along the wall of the back of the river exhibit so that we can dye the carpenter's box we have over there. Whew. So it's a pretty simple adventure, but you never know what may happen. Some of the most random amazing things like finding Bluebell and Primrose have happened when we have been out on these amazing adventures. So let's see. And then I also asked you guys if we should bring any puppies with us because we might be on foot for a lot of this. And you guys said, yes, yes, take the girls. So I think we're going to leave Holly here as usual. She almost like she really is kind of a house dog, likes to stay with her chickens. But Alia, Zoe and Lily will come with us. Iris, I'm going to leave here because I don't know if we're going to run into any water and Iris cannot swim. <laughs> Iris really painfully cannot swim. Oh, fudge knuckles. And I forgot I had these guys. So I need to go get some new safari nets, it seems. I have two safari nets. Here's my armor. Let's get my armor out. My beautiful exotic flower headband, which I love. Um, I need to get some food, so we're ready on food. We've got a splash potion if we need it. My bow and arrow if we need it. Uh, I've got a shovel. I don't think I need this iron hoe, so this can probably stay here. Some jump boost and haste from green tea and orange juice. So I might actually drink some of these when we're out and about, because that would be kind of fun to have like jump boost to jump around everywhere. Plenty of uh, shears, including steel shears, which is good because we need these for collecting plants. And it looks like I just need to go get some more reusable safari nets. So let's see. I also need a stick so I can command the girls to follow me. And the reason that they're all sitting down and not wandering around, just in case you guys were wondering, is because when, is because when the snow falls, they can actually jump over their fencing. All right. How's all the babies? Doing good. You guys are going to be bigger any day now. It's going to be so exciting. Oh, and I set up the things. So yesterday, if you guys didn't know, we did a side quest. The very first side quest of season three. The first side quest of the year. It was awesome. And we bathed all the dogs. That's why we have a little dog bath in the yard now. And we bathed them. Didn't we, Pine? You got a good bath too. Not the puppies, though. They didn't really need a bath. But because all of our dogs are pack dogs, then they actually have these chests on their back and they can carry and pick up random items. So we went through all of their little packs and the best item that they managed to find we ended up putting into these item frames under their name and then we will change out these finds depending on when the puppies find some even more like awesome items so like Lily this time she found this really pretty little itty bitty white tulip uh, Tate had an entire stack of fish in his inventory hi babies don't worry I'm not gonna step on you Holly had a Goulian finch egg Alia had a duck egg which was really cute and then Ash had this really cool flower. Pine had a stone sword, which was really awesome. Zoe had some puff mushrooms. She had something else that you guys were like, no, that's a cooler find that Zoe had, but I can't remember what it was. If I do remember, I will change it. And Iris probably had the most interesting find with an ender pearl this time around. So I don't think she took on an enderman. I'm pretty sure that she probably just ended up running into like um, a magpie who was carrying an ender pearl. So that's my theory. But Pine, oh man. And the stone sword who knows what that was about pine you're like defending your family for sure so that was really cool all right so oh i was getting a stick i need my stick now this stick is important because it can tell the dogs to follow us so lily you're already set to attack mode that's good zoe you're going to be coming along too so you need to be in attack mode alia you are going to be coming along too i'm going to switch you over to attack mode do, 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 just in case anything happens and let's take some ostrich we're going to take a pile of the ostrich expensive fancy gourmet dog food that we have whipped up for our puppies. And let's see. Almost done. Almost done. Dodge the sweet potatoes. Dodge the sweet potatoes. 
This is what we are going out to look for, our plants to put into our plant sorting chamber. I need to turn this puppy on when we come back so it can sort everything, but we don't have that many wetlands and water plants, and we really need water plants if we come over to the aquatic plants and corals. And just in case you guys have never seen it before, I will show you kind of a sneak peek of the behind the scenes. Yeah, this is what it looks like, and it goes down. It actually goes down very, very far. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is this is what it looks like here for my um, for my sorting chamber. So we have hundreds of plants, and this is what the sorting system for those hundreds of plants ends up looking like. All right, and somebody took somebody. Zoe, was it you? Oh dear, I have to get my my little log piece back because one of the dogs stole it. All right, who picked it up? Lily, not Lily. Alia, not Alia. Zoe, Zozo. Thank you, Zozo. Oh, Zoe's already picking stuff up too. All right, there we go, my wood plank. But that is what the sorting system looks like using the piping system so that we can actually like have everything lined up. So the aquatic plants and corals end up in here. So when I say that we want to decorate our area, uh, the river exhibit with aquatic plants, these are all of the aquatic plants we have to work with. We have some surface plants like the lily pads that we can kind of put on top. We've got the algae, which I think I can put on top too. Um, and then we need like this algae I think we can put on bottom the water gardens I think we can put on top and they'll spread over time which would be cool but then we need these immersed plants or we need ones that are a uh, floating but we need ones that can go like deep underwater so like the freshwater plant here can do it this immersed plant I think can do it um let's see like this floating plant pretty sure it can do it hmm so yeah, we'll have to look over these over to figure out which ones can go all the way down. But you can notice we don't have a lot of them. I think we could put down these common reeds, but I don't think they can go completely underwater. I think that only a few of these guys can actually go like several blocks underwater and not just like have one block. Because I think that these water reeds would have one block underwater, but I don't think they go all the way down. So this is an opportunity, Alia, Lily, to actually spend some time studying what it would look like. Uh, to have like an underwater river area. So this is gonna be pretty cool. All right, so I think we're pretty much set to go. I just need to put these guys away, pick up some more reusable safari nets, fill my backpack up with that. Um, let's see, we've got those, get some food. All right, let's do this. We're dilly-dallying too long. Oh, wait, <laughs> I have to dilly-dally a moment longer. I just remembered. <laughs> Dang it, and I'm like plucking tea leaves by accident. I just remembered I have mail. <laughs> I totally forgot and then I just totally remembered we actually have mail I need to check. Oh gosh. Well now I'm excited. Well, it's a good thing I know this adventure was probably gonna take a few days anyway. So here's our mail. Look at our little mail I love it. Isn't it just so cute? I love it when Jude looks so happy and he's just got this like lovely little mailbox area all set up So here we go. We have mail because you can tell the flag is up and it's green like that's just the first thing <gasps> No way. No way. Is this what I think it is? Ooh, deep breaths deep breaths. <gasps> yes, it is! Oh my gosh, the huge lily pads, the huge lily pads. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gravy goodness. Oh my gosh. I want to, I want to look at it. Oh, I need, I need somewhere to show these off. Oh my gosh, the huge lily pads. Oh goodness gracious. It's from Alex. Oh, Alex. Oh, Alex. Dear Siri, Ben, Mara, and I have been exploring Twilight Forest lately, and while investigating one of the mon min Minotaur labyrinths, <laughs> <laughs> Tongue twisters. I found this. Seeing as Ben destroyed your old one, I thought you might like a replay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a new Stilly Helm. Oh, my hands are shaking. <gasps> you guys, it's a new Stilly Helm. A new Stilly Helm. A new new flower helm. A new Stilly Helm. I am so happy. Or a leaf helm. <gasps> Okay, for those of you who don't know, once upon a time, when I was adventuring deep in the depths of the twilight forest of the old world with my friend Calf, we ended up finding lots and lots of these awesome leaf outfits, and I love the leaf outfits. It's my favorite armor to wear, even if it's not very strong. I love the helm, I love all of it, and I kept and cherished and constantly repaired my steel leaf armor for such a long time. And then Ben came on, and we were having a great time, and he was trying out like an anvil dropping gun. And and he dropped an anvil on my head and it broke my still leaf helm. 
you can't just make these things poof out of the sky and the silly of helm i had had was like especially enchanted you could like not enchanted and if you try to make it with steel leaves it always enchants automatically and basically you could only find these kinds of steel leaves in dungeons in twilight forest so this is a huge deal i haven't had one for an entire season oh my gosh i've got my new steel leaf helm back so this is fantastic and i'm gonna tell ben don't like drop another i might even like prank him i should go leave an anvil in his yard and say like don't drop it don't drop it on me this time or something like that oh my gosh oh my gosh I've also given you some of the giant lily pads from the swamp, some may apples, and your favorite green gold. Enjoy. Oh my goodness, there's moss patches, naga scales, may apples, some oak leaves to just like make everything so pretty. <gasps> my breath is just taken away, Zozo. This is all just so pretty. I love these moss patches. We've got to take them up to the Garden of Eden. That's where I usually keep my green gold. These moss patches can only be found in Twilight Forest too, and they're kind of hard to collect, so I consider them one of like the specialty exclusive items. Nay, look, I have more moss to put down. I consider them like one of the specialty items of the area, so I'm just going to put a few of them down over here, kind of grow my little path of awesome moss, just put some down over here, maybe put some down over here too. Oh, this place will just be covered in beautiful moss. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have to thank Alex so much. This is just gorgeous. Oh gosh. All right, well, come on ladies. They're like, where are we going? We're just wandering in circles. Sorry ladies, oh, that's fantastic. We need to go find something to give Alex as a present while we are on our adventure, you guys. So if we catch anything or if you see anything, then make sure you shout out because we need to figure out really cool presents that we can give him as a thank you. All right. Hello, Martha. Oh, thank you, Martha. I was trying to avoid that egg, but that's okay. All right. And we're going to put away our little present right here. And let's see. I need to get some food. I'm really running late now because I want to like hit the road, be able to start adventuring. Um, what do I want to take? Roasted chestnuts, fruit salad. Fruit salad actually sounds good. Plain, but good. And then maybe, um, hmm. I'm just going to make some quick fruit juice really quickly out of something yummy. Fruit basket. Uh, wow, I have a lot of yuzu fruit. <laughs> uh, do I have anything else? Can I make cantaloupe juice? Is that a thing? Is that like something I can make? Oh, yeah, you can make fruit punch, but not like anything else. Um, and then I'm just going to grab some of these cherries and make some cherry juice. There we go. I have to do some more fruit orchard harvesting gathering so that we'll have enough fruit to eat. Oh, gosh, I'm just so excited. All right. And put this away. There we go. Hello, Primrose. Don't worry. I will bring your sister back soon. Um, I need to put away some of these things and we'll be good. All right. Hmm. Let me come down and we're going to look over. Does this area have anywhere? Oh, right over here. All right. I should be able to show you guys what the giant lily pad looks like right here if I do it right. <gasps> look at it. Look at its awesomeness. Is this not the coolest thing in the world? I am so in love with this. Does it have a little thing on the bottom? It does not, but that is totally okay. Isn't it so cool? I love this. Oh, I'm going to have to thank Alex so much. I love these giant lily pads. They're just really hard to like find and gather. Oh, goodness. How do I pick it back up carefully? All right, come back to me, little one. Oh, goodness. I'm so excited. All right, we're going to put these guys away in the plant sorting chest, and then we're going to head out. Got to grab the safari nuts, and we've got to head out. Oh, gosh. Uh, Naga scales, stay with me. Put all these things away. Hello, puppies. I guess I'm going to keep the oakwood planks in case you guys pick up something you're not supposed to. Um... Put these things away. Oh, iron hoe. Well, I might as well keep it. Who knows? Maybe we'll need it. I'm going to keep my bow and arrow with me for now, just in case. Just because I have a sneaking suspicion something might happen. I'll put those Naga scales away in just a second. All right. Let's do this. Enough dilly-dallying around the yard, though that was really fun to gather up that mail. Plus, I had to show you guys my plant sorting system. Some of you, being new, may not uh, know about our amazing uh, PSS plant sorting system. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. All right. And let's go downstairs, drop these guys off in the stasis chamber, pick up some of my empty reusable safari nuts. Who knows what we might find? Pigment Fern, are you having a good day? I'm glad. All right. And then let's see. Nope, not my reusables. Here we go. And I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of them because who knows what we might find. Maybe we'll stumble upon a whole bunch of fish and that will just like really help us out with getting ready for putting a whole bunch of fish into our exhibit. So, oh, and I need three of those for my girls, don't I? So let's grab, let's just go ahead and grab the rest. 
<laughs> which is a little greedy of me. But who knows? Maybe we'll find that many creatures that we need to find a home for. All right. And then I'm going to... It won't take long. It won't take long, Siri. Just do things right. All right. Yay, here. Okay. And I'm just going to shove these guys in here for now. And we're good to go. Oh, yeah. Come. All right. Oh, I guess I need one. I need one of the reusable safari nets for sunflower, too, don't I? Zoe, Lily. Oh, Lily's really hungry. Goodness. Lily, I'm sorry about that. Let me feed you really quickly. All right. And there's some ostrich. There you go, darling. If I'm taking three of you, I might need more food, so I'll have to be careful. All right, let's put those away. I need another reusable safari net for sunflower. And then I'll put a couple to the side just in case we run into something. Phew. Gosh. Just getting ready for an expedition can take a while. All right. And one last quick check. Have everything. Yep. All right. We're good to go. Let's go get on sunflower. And then we're just going to take off. And we're going to bring a reusable safari net to put her in just in case we need to. I have no idea which direction we're going. Also, I love that I put those adorable little light glowing mushrooms in that corner there. All right, Astro Seed, you be a good boy, okay? I know we need to take you flying. I've been saying that for ages and ages, but we will one day. Sunflower, let's see. Got, a little, got your geisha grains and your saddle bags. You're ready to go. We'll be back, Astro Seed. I'll bring her back, I promise. All right. Oh, yes, and she feels like flying today. Huzzah! So we are off. So I have no idea where we're going. All right, Sunflower, this is going to be fun. No idea where we're going. There's a horse over there. There's some horses over here. I see some mushrooms. I see some beautiful blue flowers. Um, we're really kind of looking for things like this, though. So we're looking for waterways. And already I see a whole bunch of plants that we can kind of glance at over here. So yeah, we've been over here before. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we've been over here before. This is very pretty, though. I like this natural land bridge. If we ever get the zoo expanded out to this distance, then I could totally fill that in and we can just have a beautiful natural land bridge over this area. But all right, Sunflower, we've already found some water plants. So I'm going to get the girls out and maybe we'll just roam around this area for a minute. All right, so let's go ahead. Alia, who needs fed? All right, step number one, feed the puppies. All right, um, Zoe, there you go. Alia, come here. There you go. Um, Sunflower, please don't notice that that's probably a related cousin that I'm feeding the dogs. It's just like a little life, Sunflower. And we're just going to go ahead and climb in and investigate. So what are these? These are cruise tails, huh? Well, these are actually kind of nice looking. Ooh, what's that one? This one is a Canadian water... Like, we don't even have these! I'm like in shock because we don't even have these guys. This is fantastic. So we're just going to swim around here, collect up a few of these... I really don't want to, like, over-harvest um, our water areas. Blurb. There we go. But we do need to gather some up. Oh, there's some clay right here. Kind of tempted to try to gather that. All right, lots and lots of these coontails. They're actually, like, pretty decently colored to be able to just, um, like, put them down in our river exhibit, I think. Because they kind of have the rough coloring. But I really like these ones because they're nice and green, these Canadian water weeds. Um, there's some more things over here, too. So dwarf hair grass. This is, you know what? We've never really properly, there's mondo grass. We've never really properly swam around and investigated what's like hiding inside of the rivers, now that I think about it. See, and then we come to these guys. These guys are the common reeds. And as you can see, they stick up out of the ground. But perhaps we can have a few spots where the water level is low enough that, and the dirt is high enough in our river exhibit that we can put these guys down. Oh, hey, it's a slime island. All right, so maybe let's see, pick up some of these. They get pretty tall, too. Ooh, what are you guys? Oh, I smushed it. I don't want to smush it. All right, come here. <laughs> My girls are growling, so we must be over a cave system. All right, ladies, are you picking up the stuff? Woo! <gasps> <gasps> <sighs> I startled myself yelling that loud. <laughs> All right, so that's why my girls were growling. We've got some red root floaters. <laughs> oh, and here's some common duckweed and my little, my little, um, oh, you can smush the duckweed. You've got to be so careful, so gentle, so gentle. Oh, goodness. The girls are like, mom, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, kids. I'm okay. We're, we're good. We're good. Red root floater, duckweed, ladies. <laughs> Oh, well, that's what they're here for is to help us pick these things up. Watercress, which we could actually eat. <gasps> you guys, 
wouldn't it be cool to have like a little cafe where you could eat some of the aquatic plant stuff? Um, like the watercress and everything that you could actually eat in the area. That would be fun. But all right, so we're swimming around in here. What's this? Is this like another little spooky cave entrance? Is this going to be a problem? Because I can, I can deal with... Oh, there's a snake somewhere nearby. Oh my. Oh my. That's actually kind of amazing. So we're actually looking at a wild large spider. Now just stay in your little den. You're actually very pretty. Just It's actually really, really cool just to see it like in the wild like this. That's lovely. Oh, goodness. But all right, so our adventure has begun. Our adventure, our day of adventures has begun. And we have already begun gathering up the reeds, mondo grass, common duckweed, coon's tails, Canadian water reeds, dwarf hair grass. So, you know, it's just a small selection of a few of the water plants, but goodness gracious. Zoe, did you just eat a pig? Oh, no, it died over here. Oh my, it drowned in, in the tar. Oh, and there's a horse. But yeah, like it's just a small selection from this one area, but it's giving me some good ideas. Like what about gathering up that vine right here? And there's the flower fields. You can see the flower fields beyond. What about gathering up this vine and letting that vine grow down some of the sides of the tank or like the back of the tank? Ah, oh, that would be really cool. Oh, all right, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna rest for just a minute before continuing on going back on sunflower, maybe investigating more water areas. So we're gonna kind of see the density of the water plants, how many show up, what what they are and from there we will make some decisions on if we want to try to gather up all the water plants oh my did another pig die gracious apparently the pigs don't know how to stay out of the tar but yeah from there we will decide if we want to just travel the world and collect up all the water plants we need or if to prevent over harvesting of these areas we want to go ahead and maybe go back home and use these plants as specimens to build a new greenhouse from so we'll figure that out that should be pretty fun oh look and there's an ant dancing up there all right wonderful well all right guys i will see you bright and early in the morning as we continue our adventures across the world just traveling having a good time seeing what we can find yeah mr horse is excited too Woo! and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye